today I'm going from here, Moses Rock Campground, down to Gracetown, which is a hike of about 12 kilometers. That's a great start to the hike. Downhill, all the way. But obviously, <laughs> when you go down, you gotta come back up. But yeah, it's, it's a good start to just stroll down the hill. And as you can see there, the ocean again, the Indian Ocean. We've seen that on most of the other segments I've done. And that's what we're following down. Oh yeah, a nice downhill run from Moses Rock Campground. As per usual, on this Cape to Cape track, beautiful secluded beach again down there. The only way to get there is to walk down there. which keeps it the way it is, deserted and in pristine condition. Yeah, some pretty spectacular rock formations down there. A bit of a channel coming through. Look at that beach down there, absolutely isolated. Not a soul around. Oceans, beautiful colour. Skies, nice and blue. Yeah. Some sight to behold. Heading up this way, come up off the sand, now it's starting to get a bit more rocky as we're going higher over the top of the cliffs. Nice bit of shade though, some small scrubby trees. As you can see, a tunnel of shade at the moment, which is great, it's starting to warm up a bit. And you can see the ocean through there, down over the top of the cliffs. Yeah, we're at the base of the cliffs there. We're going up through that way. Climbing over the top, but not that very front edge, luckily. And that's where those people from the tents would have gone round that corner, round that way, to the uh, abseiling and cliff climbing round there. That's where I've come up from. Around that corner there. And heading on up. Okay, we're heading up.
that's where we come up and down there. Now we're heading up this way. Still climbing, but on the wooden steps now. And there's our marker. We're on the right track. There's some more steps down onto the beach down there. A few surfers out in the water there. Now I'm up here and I don't need to go down there, so I'm not going to. My way is down that way. As I was saying earlier on about access, there's a post line on the road, on the on the bank there. Now I've come up this pathway here, and I've got a four-wheel drive track here. The post is there. Now, okay, I can go down that way, or I could go up that way. Now, luckily, there's another post lying in the hedge over there but as you can see being on a four wheel drive track it's, it's not very stable and that's no one's fault and people do the right thing by putting them in there it's the bloody idiots that come by on four wheel drives that take them out so yeah that's like I was saying before those are the problematical bits you get sometimes Coming in towards Gracetown now. See the rocks down there? Just around that point over there is Gracetown. So I reckon we'll be about 2k away. You can hear the bright waves breaking over the rocks down there, as you can see. Right, I'm going to do a bit of rock climbing now, down onto the, where the marker is. the ocean down here 
very rocky. As I say, not too far from Gracetown now. interesting looking rocks on my left there yeah, more cool rock formations on the side of the park yeah I'm into the rocks as you probably know <laughs> you've seen enough of them on my on my vlog so far That's what you call a rock can. The sign's not going to disappear from that one anyway. Well in there. Yeah, just coming into Gracetown now. Got to go down that way. A bit more rock climbing. I don't know if you can see behind me but that's Gracetown the house is up on the hill there I'm just about to go to my car in the car park oh yeah that's the hike from Moses Rock campground down to Gracetown and I clocked it about 12 kilometers <laughs> 